Living in Mexico by Chloe Perkins, illustrated by Tom Woolley. Hola! That means hi in Spanish. My name is Rosa and I live in Mexico. Mexico is a country in North America where more than 120 million people live, including me. Now, it's actually more than 130 million people. Mexico is a beautiful country. Many people come here to visit the pretty beaches and deserts or to hike in the rainforests and mountains. The weather in Mexico is very different from place to place. Near the ocean and rainforest, the weather is hot and humid. In the mountains and on the plateau, the weather is dry and mild. This is what Mexico looks like from space. We're on a map. Some of the major cities are Tijuana, La Paz, Monterrey, Mexico City, Guadalajara, Acapulco, Oaxaca, and over here, hard to see, Cancun. Mexico has two big deserts in the north. The deserts are home to many plants and animals, such as roadrunners, mountain lions, and cactuses that can grow up to 60 feet tall. Wow. Two mountain ranges run down Mexico's east and west sides. Between the mountains is the Mexican Plateau. Many people live on the plateau. Mexico's capital city, Mexico City, is on the plateau. It was built on top of an ancient city. Guadalajara holds a yearly festival for a special kind of Mexican music called mariachi. This is what mariachi performers look like. Cancun has some of the best beaches in the world. Oaxaca is home to colorful festivals and folk art. I live in La Paz, a city on the Baja California Peninsula of Mexico. I live with my mom, dad, brother, and sister. My parents work for a sailing company. They take people on sailboats to see the gray whales. I love watching the whales. I want to study whales when I grow up. So it sounds like their family works in the tourism industry. A lot of people go to visit Mexico and that's how a lot of Mexican families make their money. Every morning I get ready for school. I brush my teeth and put on my school uniform. Then I comb my hair neatly. In Mexico, it's important to look clean and neat for school. For breakfast, we eat fried eggs, beans, and sauce on a tortilla. A tortilla is a round, flat piece of bread. After breakfast, my mom and dad drive me to school. My brother and sister go to a school for younger kids. I put my things away and talk to my friends about our reports. We are learning about archeology, span which is the study of ancient cultures. There are many places in Mexico where the remains of ancient cities still stand. School starts at eight o'clock each morning. The first half of the day is taught in Spanish. After snack time, we are taught in English. I speak both languages. Our first lesson in Spanish is about Mexico's history. 10,000 years ago, people in the region started coming together to farm the land. In 1500 BCE, the Olmec people began growing many things we have today, such as corn, beans, and cotton. Around 600 BCE, the Olmecs split into different groups one of which was the Mayans. Between 1325 CE and 1519 CE, 
the Aztec people conquered many groups and brought them together. The Aztecs built pyramids and temples, created jewelry and art, and lived in huge cities. The Olmec, Mayan, and Aztec civilizations are some of the oldest that we know about in the whole world. There's a lot of interesting archaeology about them. In 1519 CE, Hernán Cortés, a European explorer, was sent to claim the Aztecs' land for Spain. In 1521, he succeeded. The Spanish conquered more and more people and took their land. They called the colony New Spain. Spain ruled for almost 300 years, but the people of New Spain wanted their own country. They wanted to be free. They fought many battles with Spain. The people won their freedom in 1821 and New Spain became Mexico. After our history lesson, we have a snack. Today's snack is juicy pineapple sprinkled with chili powder and lime juice. After we clean up, we start our math lesson in English. I really like math. Look, I got a 10 on my math test. In Mexico, we are graded with numbers instead of letters. A 10 is the best score you can get. So unlike in the United States where you could get an A or a B or a C or an F if you fail, you can get a 10 or a nine or a six on your grades in Mexico. We have geography and science lessons, and then school is over at two o'clock. My family picks me up for lunch. In Mexico, lunch is the most important meal of the day. My parents have a break from work to eat. What do you think the most important meal of the day is for your family? Is it lunch? For lunch, we are eating quesadillas. Quesadillas are like a sandwich. Cheese, beans, and chicken go on top of a tortilla. Then you put another tortilla on top and cook it. As we eat, we talk about our day. After lunch, my brother, sister, and I go to our after-school programs. In Mexico, many kids attend after-school programs while their parents work. My little brother and sister play soccer. Soccer is so popular in Mexico. I take a special art class for older kids. We are learning about Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo, two famous Mexican artists from the 1900s. Our parents pick us up when their work is over and we go home. Do you have after school programs that you do sometimes? Like maybe programs with the library or karate, soccer practice? It sounds like you have something in common with our friends in Mexico. In Mexico, we have a holiday in November called Day of the Dead. We celebrate the lives of family and friends who have died. There are big parades and celebrations. Day of the Dead is also called Dia de los Muertos. I help my mom make a special bread. We will eat it at the parade tomorrow. My brother and sister put up pretty banners to decorate the house for the holiday. Oh, those are called papel de picado. Dinner time. In Mexico, dinner is usually a light meal. Tonight, we're having chilled avocado soup. Before bed, I read my book about whales, fish, and dolphins around the world. Someday, I'm going to sail to different countries and see them. Would you like to visit Mexico someday? The end.